Hello, this is an Ignite presentation about Volcano. My name is Silapat Ngam Village. And my name is Napasan Punjawani. Okay, Volcano is the hottest thing on the surface of the Earth. So on this presentation, we will see what is a volcano. Okay, so volcano have its origin from the name of Vulcan, a god of fires in Roman mythology. Basically, volcano is a form of a mountain that allow the molten rock to erupt to the surface of the planet Earth. Volcanoes can form anywhere the Earth's crust allow magma to reach the surface. Typically, this occur around plate boundaries, either where plate are pulling apart or where one is forcing its way under another. From these pictures, there are around 1,510 active volcanoes around the world, and we clearly know that there are 80 and more under the ocean, so we haven't discovered. There are three layers that the Earth is made of. First, the outer layer, crust, and then the second layer, called mantle, and inner layer is called the core. If you look at the yellow dot, that means that it is a volcano. So, volcanoes are more likely to happen on the plate boundary. So, it means that the connection between each plate allows the molten locks inside of the core to come out more easily. The difference between lava and magma. Magma is liquid rock inside a volcano. And lava is liquid rock that flows out of a volcano. There are three types of plate boundaries, divergent, convergence, and transform. Volcano can occur both convergence and divergent plate boundary, but mostly in convergent boundaries, due to the movement of the plate. First, convergent plate is where two plates are moving toward each other, and if they are unequal density, one plate usually sinks beneath the other in a subduction zone. Divergent plate is when a plate move away from each other. It's most likely to happen under the mid-ocean ridge and a rift valley. It means that when the plate move away from each other and allow the inside to come out. There are three types of volcano. First, a composite volcano. It's a conical volcano consisting of layers of a solid lava flow mixed with layers of other rock. Okay, let's move on to the next one. A cylindric cone volcano doesn't have any horizontal layers and it had a steep conical hill of tepla that accumulates around the downwind of the winds. So this volcano is a very classic type of volcano. We are all familiar with this one. A shield volcano is a type of volcano built entirely or mostly from fluid lava winds. They are named like this because when we are from above, you can see just how massive and imposing they are. There are 452 volcanoes just only in the rings of fires. Because of the movement of the plate continent that collide to each other, it makes this area to be the most dangerous place to live because there are a lot of volcano and earthquake. Many people live near volcanoes because the soil around a volcano can be very rich with minerals. This mineral makes the soil fertile for growing a variety of crops. But unexpected eruption of the volcano can cause people to lose their houses and their life. Because we cannot predict when the volcano will erupt, this may cause a huge disaster for each time it happens. In 1883, the volcano on the Indonesian island of Krakatau erupted with 13,000 times the power of an atomic bomb. The eruption destroyed two or three of the island of Krakatau. In Thailand, there used to be a lot of volcanoes, but they are all inactive now. And most of the volcanoes are the shield volcanoes. We are now happy to say that Thailand is safe from the volcano disaster. So, if there is an eruption, it's not gonna be a big one. And if something gonna happen, it may not be an eruption. It may be an earthquake. These two volcanoes are in Thailand. The first picture is Hin Phnom Rung Volcano. And the second one is Hin Luk Volcano. These two volcanoes are in Buriram. Thank you for listening and hope you enjoyed this presentation. Bye.